Hello everyone, my name is Taryn and I'm from the Wellington County Museum and Archives. Welcome to this week's Museum on Your Doorstep Craft. Today we're going to be making a leaf lantern. Now before I tell you about what's in your museum bag, the first thing you need to do is you need to go outside and forage for some leaves for this craft. So you can go outside and you can pick leaves from trees, from bushes, from flowers. Basically plant leaves of any kind. You can find these leaves either in your backyard or at a local park. When you have gathered a variety of leaves, between 10 and 15 about, you can bring them back home for the next step of your craft. I'll show you what I found. I put my leaves on this paper towel to let them dry because it's a little rainy today. So on here I have a variety of green leaves and I have some flower petals of different colors. And I'm going to use all of these to make my leaf today. In your museum bag, you'll find one balloon, one flameless tea light, and a few sheets of white tissue paper. From home, you'll need to provide some white glue, a deep bowl like this, and something to put your balloon in while you put the tissue paper on top of it. I'm going to use a small flower pot, but you can use a mug or anything like that. Anything that's shaped like this. You also need to provide some scissors, a paintbrush. I'm using a sponge paintbrush, but you can use any kind of paintbrush. I do recommend one that's big though, because it'll help you the most. And you also need a cup to mix your glue and water in. And I've also got a little wooden uh, stick right here to help me mix my glue. So that's everything I need today. Now to get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut up your tissue paper. So you need your scissors and you need your tissue paper. And I'm going to spread my tissue paper out so I can see how much I have. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut rectangles and squares and funny shapes. I'm going to have a variety so that it's easy for me to glue them on in different ways onto my balloon. So here's my pile of tissue paper. What you're going to want to be sure of is we're going to give you the tissue paper in a layered pile. So after you're done cutting it, you'll see that you actually have three different layers of one shape. So make sure that you separate all of your tissue paper so you don't accidentally glue two tissue papers or three or four tissue papers together onto your balloon. So take a moment to separate your tissue papers. The next step is to blow up your balloon. Here's my balloon. This is about the size you want to blow it up to. Maybe the size of a person's head would be good. Once you have this blown up, you can set it aside. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some paper towel down on the table because this craft might be a little messy. Okay, I've put down my paper towel. Now, I'm going to take my little flower pot and I'm going to put my balloon on top just like that. So my balloon has a place to sit while I put my tissue paper on top of it. And remember, you can use anything. You can use a mug or some sort of cup or even a bowl. Uh, I'm using this because I have it on hand. So next, I'm gonna grab my bowl and I'm going to fill it with water. You can use any water. Uh, I'm just using this because it's right beside me. So. There we go, about that much. You just need enough water so that you're able to cover your tissue paper in it. I'm all set up and ready to start my craft. I have my tissue paper here, my bowl of water, my balloon, and I've got some paper towel down on the table in case things get a little bit wet. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a sheet of your tissue paper 
and you're going to very lightly coat it in water. So because this is tissue paper, we're going to have to be really gentle with it because it rips very easily. So there we go. And then I'm just going to place it onto my balloon like that. And I'll take my paintbrush and I'm just going to smooth the tissue paper down over the balloon. And I'm going to do it very gently because if I'm too rough, the tissue paper will rip. So this craft requires a lot of slow moving and gentle touch. So once I have that down pat on my balloon like that, I'm going to take more tissue paper and I'm going to cover all of the top of the balloon like this to make a bowl shape. And I'm going to do this only with the tissue paper and the water. The glue will come next. So it's okay that as you go, you may rip off a little bit of tissue paper here and there. It doesn't have to be beautiful because we're going to do three layers of this. So I would also recommend if you see any air bubbles in your uh, tissue paper, maybe to just pat them down so they're not too, too big. Here's how it looks so far. I'm going to put two more pieces in, one here and one here. And there we go. This is my top layer of tissue paper and water. I put the tissue paper with the water first before any of the glue because the last step of this craft is for us to pop the balloon. And after we pop the balloon, we're going to take it out of the tissue paper. But if we use glue, then the balloon will stick to the tissue paper and that won't look very nice. So first layer, water and tissue paper. Now it's time to do our second layer. So you can get rid of the bowl of water and we're now going to make our glue concoction. So I have my cup to mix it in, my little stir stick, my white glue, and I'm going to need my water. So we're going to make mm, water down glue basically. And there's no uh, correct recipe for this. It's really just um, perhaps half glue and half water. And then you take a look at the consistency and see if it's watery enough. If, if your paintbrush can help the tissue paper go on just like the water would. So what I'm going to do is in this cup, I'm going to put um, about that much white glue. And then we're going to put the same amount of water. put a little bit more than I planned on, but that's okay. The more glue you put in though, the more water you're going to need to dilute it. Put that aside. And I'll pour in some water. Okay. Now I'm going to mix this up and see how it turns out. Oh, 
Okay, so that looks good to me. You can see that it's kind of like soupy glue, which is perfect for this. So we'll get that ready. The next layer is going to be tissue paper and your liquid glue concoction. We're going to do the exact same thing, but instead of dipping our paper into the glue, we're going to use the paintbrush and we're going to put a layer of glue on top of the balloon like this. And then on top of that, we're going to place our dry tissue paper, like that. And then you can use your brush to smooth out the edges. Just like that. Make sure there aren't any, that there aren't too many air bubbles and that not too much of the tissue paper sticks up. Do the same over here. Just like this. And we're going to do the same thing as we did with the first layer. We're going to cover the balloon all the way around like this, so it's in the shape of a bowl. When putting on the second layer, if you accidentally go over and beyond the first layer onto the balloon, that's okay. Just a little bit won't hurt. But if you put a big chunk of the second layer with the glue over the balloon itself with no uh, tissue paper and water beneath it, it will stick, which will cause you some problems later. I've finished my second layer of my tissue paper and it's okay if it's not perfect because we're going to cover it one more time with one more layer of tissue paper. So we're now ready for our leaves. I have my leaves here ready to go and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one. I'll take this guy. I'm going to make sure that there isn't any of the stem still stuck to the leaf. So put the stem over there. And I'm going to choose where on my balloon I want this leaf to go. And stick it right there. And I'll take a little bit of glue to make sure it stays put just like that. And I'm going to do the same with every other leaf I want to put on my balloon. So next I'll put on one of these purple flower petals. I'll put it right there. Take my glue. Oops, might have to hold this guy down. Smooth the glue over top. Sometimes they might not want to stay that's why you have a variety of leaves to choose from. If one leaf just won't stay on your balloon, you can exchange it for a different one. As you can see, I've got a few leaves on my balloon so far, and if some of them stick up a little bit, that's okay, because we're gonna put on one more layer of tissue paper after this.
here's what my balloon looks like at the moment. I think I'm going to stop there when it comes to petals. So as you can see, I have a lot extra, but that's okay. I found that some of these leaves were better to paint onto our balloon because they were nice and thin and so the glue went on very easily. Other ones were a bit thicker, the leaves were a bit thicker, and so they were harder to, uh, to glue on. So now that I have my leaves on there, some of them are hanging a bit precariously, I'm going to quickly put on my final layer of tissue paper. So the goal with the final layer is to cover the petals to make sure they don't fall off. So again, this layer doesn't have to be perfect because we've already got two layers on there. This is just to make sure our leaves don't uh, fall off while they're drying. So I'll put this one on top of these leaves like that. Get my glue, paint it down. As you can see, it's securing these leaves onto the balloon. I have covered all of my leaves with tissue paper and this completes my third layer of the tissue paper. The next thing to do is play the waiting game. We have to wait 24 hours for all of our tissue paper to dry on top of the balloon before we can do our next step. So I'll see you after 24 hours. It has been 24 hours so now it's time to pop our balloon and finish our lantern. So what you're going to do now is, you can set this aside because you don't need it. With the next part, we're going to have to use some short, sort of sharp object in order to pop our balloon. And when we pop our balloon, the tissue paper might scrunch up at first, but it'll relax later. So uh, here we go. paper is slowly letting go of the balloon. There we go. Might just help the balloon come out. Here we go. Balloon done. And now our lantern is looking a little rough, but that's okay. We just need to very delicately pop out the dents that are in our bowl shape. So Smoothing it out like this. There we go. Okay, and there you have it. Here is the finished leaf lantern with your flameless tea light, you can turn it on by turning the, uh, the small bar at the bottom of it, turning it, turning it, all the way until you see the light. And then you can place that inside your lantern. So it's daytime right now and you can't really see the lantern's effect, but if you wait until nighttime and turn it on then, it'll be glowing. Or you can find a dark room in your house and try there. Thank you for joining us this week. We hope you enjoyed your museum on your doorstep craft. For more events and activities, check out our website at www.wellington.ca museum.